don't want crybaby. Uh, want me to punch you and make you a crybaby? <laughs> there will be a shoot for a Pampers commercial. Your younger daughter will be perfect for it. You remember her dad? She got her height from him. <laughs> what did you do to your face? Suddenly, Mia went psycho. Hey, family! Today, we're gonna be watching a true story animation about a girl who never gets old and stays a baby forever! Huh? That's just weird. Smash like on today's video to make sure that you don't stay a baby forever, too. Does that hurt if you don't smash like? You're gonna end up in diapers tomorrow. Oopsies. And comment down below your favorite number ever. Hi, friends. My name is Avery, and I live in Ukraine. Cool. When my actress mom was pregnant with me, her water broke one day right in the middle of a drama shoot. <laughs> I came a little early from my time. And then two years later, my sister Mia was born, and our family was complete. Aw, what a cutie little family. And might I say a baby with a very large head. Just saying. Our family was complete. And then it broke because mom and dad fought so much that they eventually turned into star wars characters mom and dad fought so much that they eventually got a divorce oh yeah right that i guess that makes more sense and dad left at least there was some peace now as time oh. passed mom noticed how i wasn't really growing like the other kids and i was very short like really short when it was my eighth birthday mia was already taller than me and everyone thought she was the older sister. When I joined Mia and her friends to play, they wouldn't let me. Please, Mia, tell your sister to buzz off. We don't want crybaby. Uh, want me to punch you and make you a crybaby? <laughs> that one turned around on you, didn't it? Family, comment down below, big baby, as a secret word in today's video, and I'll heart your comment. Okay, I'll let you play if you can snatch this ball from my hand. <laughs> I tried to reach it, but Mia was so tall. Not fair! She went off with her friends, and I got pulled into mom's friend circle, where they kept treating me like a little kid. Ugh. They were patting my hair, pulling my cheeks, and talking to me like I was a baby. Oh, who's a big girl now? Avery is. There will be a shoot for a Pampers commercial. Your younger daughter will be perfect for it. Actually, she's the eldest daughter. You remember her dad? She got her height from him. Yeah, you remember her tiny little baby dad. He's short too. And that's why we got a divorce. But look at my Mia. So perfect already. I felt my cheeks burn. Avery. I just got myself free and hid under the table. But when mom pulled me out and lifted me up to cut the cake, I angrily knocked the cake off the table and ran away. <gasps> that night, I prayed to be taller. But that didn't really happen as fast as I wanted. A few days later, we were all invited to the launch party of a new luxury perfume. While mom was busy talking to someone, I spotted Mia with a mischievous grin on her face, carrying something in her hand. She's stealing! She's stealing! I see her! Get her, Avery! Get her! Expose that thief! Make sure to watch the end of today's video to see one of the sisters get a main role in a movie. What sister is it? What's that? Um, nothing. Are you crazy? You're stealing this? Go put it back. I knew it. It's just playing truth or dare with a friend. I had to get it. But as the guests were starting to gather in the hall, Mia shoved the bottle in my hand. Okay, it's your problem now. What? Mia, no. Bye. My younger sister was beautiful, charming, and also a jerk. Oh. Since I was small, I crawled to the podium unnoticed and placed the perfume bottle back. But just then, the owner caught me. Why are you holding this? I was so busted. But when I looked at her with puppy dog eyes, the woman melted. Oh, little Avery likes this too. So sweet. Wait a second. You might be small just like a peanut, but with that face and those puppy dog eyes, you can get away with stuff smooth like peanut butter. Ooh. And that's when I learned the perks of looking younger than my age. I could get away with small mistakes. Mia wasn't nice to me at school either. Oh. She treated me as a complete outcast. And except for the teachers, nobody even knew we were related. While all the boys were going gaga over Mia, I was always the adorable, cute Avery. One time in the ninth grade, 
we had a play and, as always, I was given a small role in it, while Mia was the lead. But something bizarre happened right before we went on stage. Mia had a sore throat, and when she spoke, she sounded like a frog. <gasps> she couldn't perform, so I offered to step in because I knew all her lines. <laughs> Mia. All these years being so tall and hopping over your sister like a frog. I guess you finally became one. That's a little awkward now, isn't it? The teacher seemed unsure at first, but she then gave me Mia's costume and a pair of heels. When I went on stage, I slayed the role. Later, when the entire cast was getting their pictures taken, the teacher called out to Mia. Wait a second. Was that a pickle over there? I'm getting a little distracted. Anyways, back to the animation. The teacher called out to Mia. Mia, come here. Let's take some pictures with your sister. She did so well. Wow, you sound Mia, like a frog. That's your sister? She's so cute. And I think she performed better than you. Oh! Now, this midget is not my sister. I think she's adopted or something. Look at her. She's nothing like me or my mom. Uh, well, I would hope not. You're a frog. Did you forget? Oh. And she hasn't shaved her legs in a year. Ew. Worthless. Me? Worthless? Listen to your croaky frog voice first. <laughs> my words made her see red, and she attacked me. As we rolled around fighting, we ended up on the stage, and people were shocked to see us. Careful! I just got my hair straightened yesterday, you idiot! <gasps> oh, really? Thanks for reminding me. The teachers took us away, and we both got a week of detention. As mom took us both home that day, Mia told me I embarrassed her because I was a freak. But her words weren't going to hurt me anymore. Everyone's reaction after the play had proved that people liked me. So the next day, this cute new boy came over to me. I was so happy. He must have seen my amazing performance too. But my happiness lasted for two seconds. Hey, you're Mia's little sister, right? Here you go, kiddo. Here's a lollipop for you. Excuse me? Did you just call me kiddo? Yeah, so? Now listen, I want you to do something for me. Give me your big sister's number. I took the lollipop and pushed him away. <laughs> Did you just seriously call me a kid? How rude! Now give me that lollipop and let me lick it and go away. Go ask her yourself, loser. And with that, I stormed off. Seriously, I couldn't wait for high school to be over so I could be out of Mia's shadow. When I turned 18, mom took me and Mia to audition for a role in the TV series she worked in. While I was learning my dialogue, mom and Mia were staring at me. You can't be serious. Are you trying out for the role too? I only meant Mia. Why not me? Come on, Avery, stop kidding yourself. The role is of a hot female lead like myself and not a kid. I felt so angry and decided to give it my best shot. When it was my turn, I did so well. But when it was Mia's turn, I could see her flirting with the producer. Isn't she a natural? She's the beauty in our house. I think she'd be perfect for the role. She uh, sure is beautiful. But uh, your younger daughter, Avery, has great talent. <gasps> Young lady, you can apply when you grow up. You'd be amazing. Of course, Mia got the part. Oh, man! Mia stole it again. Classic Mia getting everything she wants. <laughs> well, how about getting something actually useful, Mia? Like a good personality. Because you mean. And when Mom and Mia started celebrating, I felt awful. I have a headache. I'm going to bed. Aww. Jealous that I got the role and you were told to grow up again? Yeah, kinda. You really gotta rub it in my face. I just ignored her and walked away. And I started focusing on filling out my university application forms. In a couple of months, I got into a prestigious university in another city and moved there. When I was in my first year of university, my sister was already a big star. But I was really enjoying the independent life, living in a dorm with my friends. And as I grew older, people seemed to really like me. Everywhere I went, people commented on how pretty I was. And everyone wanted to know how I managed to look so young. Soon, I made an Instagram account where I posted vlogs of my life in the city. And pretty soon, it became a hit. My followers joked about me being a vampire girl because I looked like a teen even yeah. in my 20s. One time, I was out doing grocery shopping in a store, and I was trying to reach the top shelf, when suddenly, a boy came and helped me out. I thanked him, but then the boy asked me out. 
got a cereal box too. What kind of cereal you think was in there, family? Fruity Pebbles, Fruit Loop, Fruit by the Foot. Oh no, that's a candy. I hope it was the Fruit Loops. <laughs> Ugh, not another high school kid. How old are you? 15, 16? Guess what? I'm 22. Too old for you. So, bye. Come on, do I look that stupid? The guy couldn't take a no. He kept following me around the store and saying I was a liar. I was getting really annoyed, and just when I was about to push him away, I heard someone call my name. I turned to see it was Ryan, a guy in my drama class. Avery, sweetheart, where were you? I've been looking all over for you. Is this boy bothering you? What? Sweetheart? When he winked at me, I knew what he was up to. <gasps> oh no, no. This little boy helped me, and now he's on his way to his mama. Aren't you? <laughs> the boy looked annoyed and left me alone. <laughs> Ryan and I came out of the store laughing. After that day, we became good friends at university. I kinda had a small crush on him, but I never told him because he had a girlfriend. Um, After graduation, I got a role in a TV show, and on my first day at work, I got a pleasant surprise. Ryan was in the cast too. <laughs> It felt so good to have a familiar face at work. One time after work, I was on my way home when suddenly a man running by me started snatching my purse. I instantly took out some pepper <gasps> spray, but before I could spray it, I fell and he ran away. Moments later when I opened my eyes, someone was calling my name. Avery, can you hear me? Are you all right? I mean, I just got robbed and almost oofed, but uh, now that you're here, I'm feeling pretty okay. Oh, Ryan, what happened? There was a man... <sighs> yeah, the jerk got away, but I got your purse back. Come on, let's get you to a doctor. Ryan took me to the hospital, and as the doctor checked my head, he kept holding my hand, and I felt butterflies in my stomach. Ooh. That day, he dropped me home, and on our way, he told me how he'd broken up with his girlfriend a few months ago. The TV series Ryan and I were on proved to be a huge success. Soon after it ended, we started dating, and even though people made fun of our one-foot difference, we didn't care one bit. <laughs> Most people thought it was really cute. I kept doing roles in TV shows and commercials, but then at 27, I got the role of a teen girl in a big movie, and I signed up for it. A few days before its release, I was at my apartment when someone knocked on my door. It was Mom and Mia. What did you do to your face? Well, hello to you too. And my face? I made an investment. Investment? Where? <laughs> Are you sure you said investment or destruction? Because your face looks all kind of messed up. Just saying. Don't forget to watch the end of today's video to see one of the sisters become a celebrity. Oh God, on my face, Avery? These lips cost me like a million dollars. Okay, fine. It was a 50% discount, but still. I really tried to talk her out of the nose job she was planning on getting next, but she and mom wouldn't listen to me. Avery, this is necessary. Mia needs to look younger to keep getting lead roles. Sweetie, I understand you don't get main roles, but there's no need to be jealous of your sister. You always knew she was the real star of the family. Jealous? Mom, do you really think all this plastic is doing her any good? Mia's a natural beauty and she doesn't need these things. Plus, she's not looking younger, just weirder. Oh my god, if you can't be happy for me, then why did you even come to visit me? You came to visit me, you airhead. I think all that plastic surgery finally went to her brain. Ooh. Why are you even here? Oh, we were in the city and I wanted to see my cute little sister. Is that a crime? Okay, I'm lying. I just wanted to make sure you're still a loser and not even close to my fame. And where's that hot boyfriend of yours? Did you break up? Oh, Mom, Mia, thanks for dropping by and reminding me why moving away from you guys was the best decision ever. I pushed them both out. Oh. It made me upset that I'd just never gotten along with the only family I had but they were impossible. You guys don't get along because you like red and she likes blue. You don't get along because they bully you. Duh. They mean. And you should stay away. The very next day, Ryan called me and gave me some shocking news. My film had gotten rave reviews and critics were in awe of my work. It was being called the freshest face in the industry. And I was everywhere. And right after that, I got invited to try out for a role in my favorite soap opera. But when I reached the venue, I was shocked to see Mia there. Uh-oh. Look who's here for the audition, Miss Overnight Sensation. 
You must be here for one of the side roles? Um, actually, Miss Avery is not here for the audition. What? I'm not? No. The producers and director have already selected you for the lead role. The oh. scriptwriters wrote the character specifically with you in mind. OMG! What? This was really happening. After talking with the producers, I accepted the role with a huge paycheck. <laughs> Get that money, girl! And use it for someone to take away your evil sister. Maybe you can hire a garbage removal company? Ugh. And when I came out of the producer's room with a huge smile, Mia's face went pale. Did you bribe them or something? There's no way you got the role so easily. Mm -hmm. Mia, I'm here because I'm talented. I don't need to flirt, bribe, or turn into plastic to get roles. Now, please, get out of my way. And suddenly, Mia went psycho. Ooh. Right when she tried to attack me, the security team came and kicked her out. <laughs> yeah. Bobby held my hand and kissed me, and we walked over to the photographers. My smile was bigger than ever. You see a family, it all worked out! Other than her sister and mom still being really mean to her and probably still trying to ruin her life, but she has a main role in a movie and a really nice boyfriend. So, I mean, get another cat and then what else do you need? If you liked today's video, smash like and smash subscribe. Don't forget to turn on all post notifications so you don't miss any of our videos. Also, don't forget to follow me on my Instagram right down here. I love you all so much, and I'll see you all in the next video.